is a very simple way to create metallic sounds and I've found that the same technique also works very well for creating mysterious mystical atmospheres. So I have a raw sample here that doesn't really sound like much. And the technique is basically that we're gonna stack a few delays on top of each other. So let's just grab a delay here and set it up like this. So we are just gonna delay left and right differently. We can set the feedback and the dry wet all the way up. And you don't always have to use settings like this. You can obviously play around with it, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use these settings. So as you can hear, we already have this metallic sound. And then we can actually just duplicate this a few times if you want and slightly change the settings just to make a more extreme version of this. Um, because this can get rather loud because of all the feedback, I'm just putting a compressor here with quite extreme settings just to be safe. Now we just change the settings here, delay times of the different instances. And now we just get different sounds depending on the settings here. And now what I've found works quite well is if you use longer samples. So I'm just going to use Brahm samples here. Something like this. Slow the volume a bit. It's especially interesting if there's some pitch modulation going on as a sample. Let's just try a second one. Maybe pitch this down a bit. And of course we could just change the settings here to get different variations of this. And then what I typically do is I put a reverb at the end of this chain. Again with quite extreme settings, 100% dry wet, long decay time. So now we can also bounce this to audio. Maybe also this one. Group them together. We can also play around with pitching them. And again, we can also process all of them together with some reverb and compression and EQ. And so by doing this, we get a really nice resonant metallic atmosphere that I think works well if you're going for a mysterious vibe. And you don't have to use audio samples for this. You can also just uh, use the same technique on any synthesizer and just make a long effects chain and then just change your settings in your synthesizer and see how it affects the sound.